Hi boys and girls. We have another beautiful day here. The sun is out, the weather is perfect. And guess what we're gonna be doing today? We're gonna be painting seashells. For our learning activity, we are going to do A through Z dot to dot. And for our movement activity, we are going to dance. So I'm gonna choose my favorite song and I'm gonna to dance to it. Yes, I am. You know what I would like you to do? This would be a great idea. How about you choose your favorite song and you dance to it and mom and dad videotape you. Yes, and then put it on Schoology so I could see it. Would that be a great idea? Okay, boys and girls. And one more thing. I am going to go around and ask others of what they like to do in the summertime. And we could find out what they love to do. Wouldn't that be cool? Yes. So I will see you later. Okay, boys and girls. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. Story time. Are you ready? Today we're going to read It's a Seashell Day. Are you ready? Let's see what's going to happen. I think they're going to go search for some seashells from the title of the book. But let's see what happens. When the sun peeks up over the bay, mommy tells me it's a seashell day. Okay, they're gonna go look for some seashells. Look at the bird, he's sleeping. Beautiful picture. I rush down the path over the dune. Salty breeze blows, we'll be there soon. Look at his bucket and his shovel, he's ready. We reach the beach, herring gulls flock. Is this a seashell? No, it's a rock. He's trying, he's searching. With pail and shovel in my hand, my toes squish in cool, wet sand. Oh, that's the best feeling, guys, when you're at the beach and your toes go in the sand. A wave rolls in. It's way too big. Go away, wave, so I can dig. Oh, he's upset. He doesn't want a wave to come close to him. Because then he won't be able to search for something. Please, he's not gonna listen, oh boy. Bumpy, lumpy shells out from the muck. Spiny, shiny shells, a penny for luck. They found a penny. My shell is tiny, a silvery pearl. Mommy's is brown with a big, twirly curl. This shell is a home, Mommy tells me. Let's put it back to live in the sea. It is someone's home. It's that snail's home, the shell. Yeah, mommy's right. This shell has a secret. Hold it up to your ear. Listen, says mommy. What do you hear? Oh, he's putting it up to his ear. Look. I hear the ocean. It's so true. I count shells. One, two, three, four. Each one is different. I have many more. I count other shells, five, six, seven, eight. My shells are curvy, never straight. They do have some curves, he's right. Two more shells, numbers nine, then 10. When we get home, let's count them again. So excited, look, this bucket is filled with seashells. Oh, mommy's carrying the biggest one. Yes, we're almost home, it's been a fun day. So many shells, I'll make a display. Oh, he's gonna spread them out at home. One, two, three, four. I pretend seashell store. Five, six, seven, eight. All my shells look really great. They do, really good. Nine and 10, both from the sea. I brought the beach home with me. Oh, he's so happy that he did this. And all these seashells have different names. Clamshell, razor shell, Moon snail shell. Wow, this is fun, guys. This is a great story. You know what you could do when you go to the beach? Get some seashells and go look to see what their names are. See you later, okay, boys and girls? Bye. Boys and girls, are you ready for today's art? I know I am. Today we're going to be painting seashells. Yes! Well, you only have one seashell and I do too. So we're going to be painting one seashell. Now, in your baggie, you have a seashell, and you also have your paint. And also, you know what you need to get? Just a regular piece of paper to put on the table. So when you're painting it, the paint doesn't go all over. And when you want it to dry, you just put it on the paper and let it dry. Okay? So remember that. Now, I got these seashells at the beach. I went to the beach, and I was just walking around, and I saw these seashells, and I collected them. Oh, I almost spilled the paint. And I collected the seashells, and it came in handy because I was able to share them with you. Isn't that cool? Now, let's start painting them. Now, I have green and purple. 
I think I'm going to start with green. Let's see. I remember, clean your brush and look at my seashell. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, I'm going to start on top, painting it green. Oh, I like it. Oh, look at it, guys. It looks cool. Okay, now I have purple. Maybe I want to put some dots. Oh, clean my brush. Dots, dot, dot. Oh, inside. Oh, I could paint inside. Yes. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, oh, I don't want to put... It's okay if you get paint on you. You know you can wash your hands. And then the bottom, I'll paint it green. Oh, this is cool. I can't wait to see yours. Remember, you have to take a picture of it and put it on what? Schoology. I'm going to get closer because I want you to see my seashell. Look how pretty. <gasps> That's so cool. I love it. But boys and girls, remember, take a picture of it and put it on Schoology. I want to see yours, okay? Well, boys and girls, I'll see you later, okay? Bye. Hi, boys and girls. Are you ready for today's learning activity? Today, we are going to do dot to dot, A to Z. Are you ready? Now, in your baggie, you're going to find a paper that looks just like this, okay? Let me I'm going to tape it up here. It'll be easier for me to do it and for you to see. Okay, hold on. And also, you are going to need a pencil, okay? A pencil, but I am going to use a marker. So you'll be able to see it in the video. Now, the reason why I tell you to use a pencil is because, boys and girls, when you use a pencil and you make a mistake, guess what? You could erase it because it has an eraser. But if you use a marker and you make a mistake, oh, it's harder to fix, right? So please use a pencil when you do it. But I'm going to use a marker just to start it off. Now, in this picture, it says join the dots to find out what the animal is. Because at the bottom, you are going to write, it's a... I don't know yet, I don't know what it is. I need to connect the dots from A to Z. So I need to find the letter A. Okay, here we go. And you see the dot in letter A? And then we're gonna go after A is B. You know what you could do? You could sing the ABCs in your head. So you could go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. I know we could continue, but guess what I want you to do? I want you to continue from there. Because if I do it, then you're gonna know what kind of animal it is, okay? I want you to continue doing it and then take a picture of it and put it on Schoology for me, okay? Now, wait a minute. Another thing is, after you go all the way to Z, you're gonna tell me what it is. And you see this line right here? That's where you're gonna write that animal's name. So it's a, I don't know yet, because I need to finish it. And after you connect all the dots, maybe you could use crayons to color it inside. How about that? I like that idea. Okay, boys and girls, now remember, put it on Schoology for me, and I'll see you later. Bye. Hey, boys and girls, for today's movement activity, guess what we're gonna do? We're going to dance. Mr. Mart and I are gonna choose our favorite song, and we're gonna dance to it. That's a nice movement activity. That I sounds like so much fun. I think that's awesome. <clears throat> now, Mr. Mart, which song did you pick? Uh, the song called Happy. That is a good one. I like that one. I chose the best day of my life. Ooh, I like that so one we're gonna too. dance to it. Now, you know what would be really cool? What? if they get to choose their own favorite song and dance to it. Oh my gosh, that would be awesome. So we get oh, to see it too? We get to see it. Now this is what we're gonna do. When you dance to your favorite song, your mom and dad have to film you. Then they're gonna put it on Schoology. And then we could see it. Just Yay! like you're gonna see us dancing, we wanna see you. So that was a great activity. Remember that, choose your song and you dance to it and film it, okay? Okay, boys and girls, are we ready? Are you I, ready to I'm dance? I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, we'll be back in a minute with our songs, okay? I'll see you later, bye. Bye, guys. Hi, boys and girls. All right, I'm ready for my movement activity. The song that I chose is Happy. And the reason I chose this song is because it makes me really happy inside. It makes me want to dance. It makes me want to just be really excited and have fun. So, I can't wait to see what you guys choose. You ready, Miss Figueroa? I'm ready. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. So glad she's here, you can take a break I'm a hot air balloon that could go to space With the air, like I don't care, baby, by the way Because I'm happy, I'm alone, if you feel like a rain without a roof Because I'm happy, I'm alone, if you feel like happiness Cause I'm happy and alone If you know what happiness 
my favorite song. It is the best day of my life. Are you ready? Now remember, you have to videotape yourselves dancing to your song so we can see it. Okay, Mr. Maro, I'm ready for my song. I'm ready. I love dancing. Guess what? We have Mr. Jason here. Mr. Jason, what do you like to do during the summertime? I like to go camping and hiking. Oh, where do you hike at? Uh, I hike up in the mountains, either in Washington State, up, up in Alaska. Alaska? Yes. Now, do you, when you go camping, is it hot or cold in Alaska? Because Alaska is warm. It's warm? It's warm. Oh my gosh. How many days do you stay there? It uh, depends. It could be a, you know, a few days or it could be a month. Boys and girls, a month is like 30 days. That's a long time. So you enjoy doing that. Absolutely. That, absolutely. Oh, that is so much fun. Boys and girls, you see what Mr. Jason does in the summertime? He likes to go hiking. That is cool. Thank you, Mr. Jason. No problem. Boys and girls, I'll see you later. Bye. Hey, guys, here we are with Mr. D. Hi, guys. Now, How are you? Oh, they're doing good because they're oh, wow. talking about summertime. Whoa, my favorite time of the year. Yeah. Now tell me, what do you do during the summer? What is your favorite well, thing to do? I love to go fishing, kayaking, boating, jet skis. But uh, my most favorite thing is riding my bike. Do you really? Oh my now, God, Now where do you go? When you go biking, well, where do you go? My neighborhood, because I have, a, I have a very large neighborhood. It's okay. very nice, very safe. But I love to go to Michael State Park also. I love to see the wildlife. Oh, oh you yes. can take your bikes there? Oh, yeah, I love it. Oh, oh I, didn't, I didn't know oh, that, guys. Didn't yes. Know that. Now, when you're riding your bike, do you wear a helmet? Oh, most definitely. Good job. Yes, Good because, job. you know, safety is very, very important, guys. You know, yes. even if I'm old guy, I'm an old guy, you know, <laughs> but I <laughs> fall too. To but I fall too now. Yes. So, you know, safety so is safe. always, always helmet. Yes. That, yeah, that is so cool. So oh, yeah. you have fun in the summertime. Oh, most definitely, guys. I, love, yeah. I was telling the boys and girls, my favorite thing to do is go to the water park. You're kidding me. I oh, well, you know, that I love it too. But well, Mr. D is learning how to swim still. Oh, oh. I'm so still you're, learning. Good. So still you're learning. Not, don't give up. So I haven't don't given give up, up yet. Not yet. Give you know, I have my life jacket and I have all the floats, but I still have fun, you know. Yes. Respect the water. That's right. But Mr. Thank you so much. Which yes. I see how he enjoyed, but his best thing that he likes to do is ride bikes. Yes, guys. Yes. It's my most favorite. Have a good one. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Bye. Hey, boys and girls. Guess what? I found Miss Eliana, and Miss Eliana is a custodian here at our school. Now, I'm going to ask her what she likes to do in the summertime. But the only thing, Miss Eliana speaks Spanish. So I'm going to speak to her in Spanish, and then I'll tell you what she said, okay? And here we go. Okay, Senor Eliana. ¿Qué le gusta hacer usted en el verano? Bueno, en el verano, cuando las tardecitas estén frescas, me gusta ir al jardín, plantar mis flores, eh, regarlas, Ay, ver, sí. conversar con ellas, porque con las plantitas se hablan, sí, se para que bien. prosperen y se vean bonitas. Ay, sí, ay, y ya, ¿a usted le gusta hacer eso todos los días? ¿Usted hace eso todos los días en su jardín? Cuando yo río las plantas, sí. sí. <laughs> Boys and girls, you know what she loves to do in the summertime? She loves to be out in her yard and talk to her plants and make sure that they have water. Me gusta también ir a los parques de agua, ir a la she playa. She likes to go to the water parks and the beach. A la playa, montar en bote, pescar. Me gusta she mucho pescar porque me gusta mucho el pescado. Oh. Guess what, boys and girls? She likes to go fishing. ¿Saben qué me gusta? Ir a Busgarden a montar las montañas rusas. Díganle que los lleven. Uh, oh, she yes. loves to go to Bush Gardens because she likes roller coasters. I, like I don't like roller coasters. I don't like them. Let me see. That's good. Yes. Isn't it cool what others like to do in the summertime? Yes, I love it. Miss Eliana, gracias. Thank you. Bye. No, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye bye. Hi, boys and girls. 
Today I had a great time. The best part about today, I enjoyed interviewing others of what they like to do in the summertime. Like Mr. Jason likes to go camping, Miss Eliana likes to work in her yard, and Mr. D likes to ride bike. Aren't those cool? Maybe you could go out there and ask others what they like to do, right? Yes. Now for story time, did you like story time? That little boy was finding all these seashells and each seashell had a different name. Yes, and I didn't even know that. I just, I just thought they were just called seashells, but they have a specific name. That's cool. In our learning activity right here, we connected the dots. We did capital letters and lowercase letters. And what was it? It was a bird. That was cool. In our art activity, we painted our seashells. Guys, now remember, put it on Schoology. I want to see it. And for our movement activity, we did dancing. Yes, we chose our favorite song and we danced to it. Now remember, I want to see you dancing. So choose your favorite song and have mom and dad tape you. Okay? Boys and girls, I'll see you later. Bye!